Is the two-party system becoming a two-race system? We first welcome our MCS President, Dr. Sri Dr. Chua Sun, our moderator, and now Chief Minister of Penang, everyone, welcome. Everyone in this country, two-party system is good. If we have a competition between two parties, it would be good. However, after the general election of 308, we realized that DAP continued to attack and to criticize each other. And he has playing the political game. And in this scenario, it is trying to dispute, put dispute between both parties. And even more seriously, today DAP is different from the previous DAP. Today, DAP is joining a line with the PKR and PAS to join, to form the opposition alliance. We know that the past will finally be the beneficiary of this. So, today, past it will not give up easily to rule the country with Islamic rule. And they will put Malaysia into a, a they will put priority in belief of Islam. It is a very sensitive issue in this in Malaysia. So we know that it will bring great impact to this country in various aspects, including social, financial, political and development. However, we will not rule this country with Islamic rule. We are not giving false promises here. Why are we not why are we talking this? Because GAP cannot promise this. Because DAP is giving up a room not to say anything. However, on the contrary, we need to congratulate TAP because in misleading, in creating a false scenario, in promoting and selling their, in selling their good points, I, I could assure you they will get Oscar Prize. Why do I say that? Because for DAP in many years in Malaysia, they are supported by Chinese. However, they branded them as a multiracial party. But if you look at the history of the DAP, they concentrate in election in the constituency which majority is Chinese. They are not competing in the constituency where Malaysia Chinese are not the majority. DAP dare not face UMNO. They are only playing the Chinese parts. Other than that, DAP likes to tell his fellow voters we support us. We strengthen the opposition party because it will it will bring up our political development. However, with the support that 
take that. Penang is ruled by the opposition party. And Penang is led by the Chinese. This misleading scenario gives a, a wrong impression to the voters. And this kind of misleading will are created by the TAP. Other than Penang state, other states will never be led by Chinese. Because what we are facing today in the political scenario, like what I have mentioned earlier, the TAP today is different from the TAP in the past because they are jointly affiliated by the past and PK. If you were to strengthen DAP today, you are not only strengthening DAP, you are only helping DAP to ready the path for PAS to be the leader of the country. After 308, we clearly see that in Perak, DAP has 18 representatives. As for PAS and PKR, they only have 13 representatives. The leader should be DAP. However, no, we are wrong. The leader is PAS. Similarly, in Kedah, MCA representative However, the, the biggest leader that is also passed. Everyone, in our multiracial country, we cannot agree to the context of being ruled by Islamic law. So we need to reject not just not just past because the great partner of past is DAP. So today you can see that in Sarawak, Chinese, Chinese supported saying that Chinese should rule the Chinese. So. 30% of the Chinese supporters are in the opposition. And as for Penang State, the Chinese are in the ruling party. So the two party system, it will become a two race system. Thank you, everyone.